All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, by Shem Yahweh I want to give double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who grew well and teach well, and I want to say Shalom to the hopeful elect. All right, it's your brother Karat Bazaar, back with another lesson. <clears throat> and the title of this lesson is uh, Be of Good Comfort. All right. And the inspiration comes from, you know, the spirit of Yahweh by Shem But reading all right and uh i read today in my pocket for uh second Ezra chapter 12 and some precepts from verse from within that chapter <laughs> and uh it sparked me to do a lesson tonight which i'm doing right now so sirach i mean so second Ezra salakia chapter 12 verse 46 be of good comfort o israel and be not heavy the house of jacob all right And be not heavy, the house of Jacob. All right. So be of good comfort, man. Why be of good comfort? Because the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai is with us. Because the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai did not forsake us. All right. The Lord Yahweh Shema Shai did not forget us. Okay. All right. Let's read verse forty-seven. It says, "For the highest hath you in in remembrance, and the mighty hath not forgotten you in temptation." All right. The Lord hasn't forgotten us, man. All right. The Lord made an everlasting covenant. With Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, even though we went off and we forsook the Lord, okay, all right, the Lord still has us in memory, man. All right, the Lord is merciful. All right, the Lord is very compassionate. Okay, <clears throat> all right, so we don't have any reason to uh, easier said than done. First and foremost, all right, to be um, overtaken by our thoughts. Okay, all right, uh, that goes into leaning into your own understanding. All right, which is it's in within Proverbs. All right, so this is Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in Yahweh Shai with all thine heart, all right, and lean not into thine own understanding, okay? Don't listen to the thoughts in your mind. You know, when I say that, don't listen to the thoughts of wickedness in your mind, okay? Don't listen to the, to the, to the things that, you know, the world has taught you to do, okay? Because those things bring on heaviness when you can't, you know, uh, meet the quote unquote uh, status quo of life, all right? When you can't have the things that somebody else has, when you, uh, <clears throat> when you want to start something in this place, and you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's all in vain because the Lord is going to destroy us, all right? Don't trust in your own understanding because your own understanding is carnal. It's not spiritual. But the Lord, Yahweh Shema all right, in the book of John, all right, the 14th chapter, he gave us something that's going to comfort us, okay? And let's look up that word comfort right quick. It says a state of physical ease and freedom from pain or constraint. And that's going to happen in the kingdom, all right? The ease of or alleviation of a person's feelings of grief or distress, all right? And it says a few words of comfort, consolation, condolence, solace, uh, succor, which is help, reassurance. And these words, the words of Yahweh Shem Shai, are those things, reassurance, all right, gladdening easement okay support help okay all right <clears throat> let's go to john all right this is john 14 and 26 but the comforter which is the holy spirit all right which is the scriptures right that the lord had left for us to get the understanding of all right which is the comforter but the comforter all right, let's look at that word again. All right, definition. Uh, the ease of, the easing or alleviation of a person's feelings of grief or distress. All right, going into, going into take no heaviness, okay? All right, it says consolation, con condolence, sympathy, all right, support, succor, a relief, a reassurance, okay? All right, uh, easement, gladdening, okay? All right. <laughs> Uh, all 
All right, so going back into 26, but the comforter, all right, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, and the Father is Yahweh, and the Son's name is Yahweh Shai, he shall teach you all things and bring you bring to your remembrance whatsoever I have said to you, all right? That's for now, man, okay? All right, that's for now, to bring us into the remembrance what the Lord had told his disciples and those ones that the disciples taught, okay, through, through the Spirit of the Lord, all right? To bring it to remembrance of the things that the Lord spoke and the things that was in the prophecies that's supposed to happen, all right? Like the king of, kingdom is for Israel, okay? All right? <clears throat> We're going to be ruling next, okay? We're not going to have to live in oppression anymore, all right? We're not going to have to be paying taxes to <laughs> drive a car with a damn sticker on the front to say that your vehicle's been inspected. That's, that's a tax, man, okay? All right? Just for you to drive your car here in the state of Virginia, all right? <clears throat> Continuing on in verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So that peace is comfort, and that comfort is these words, all right? And that comfort is assuring, it's support, it's help, it's alleviation, it's reassurance, it's gladdening, okay? All right? It's condolence, it's solace, it's sympathy, all right? That's the comfort that the Lord has for us, man. These words as of right now, but it's going to turn into physical soon, man, okay? We are going to be alleviated soon all right so let's go to revelations right quick all right no uh, maybe it's 21 yep all right this is revelations 21 and 4 and yahweh shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away this world, man, and all these things in it are passed away. And and the kingdom, this is physically going to happen in the kingdom, all right? And we're going to be in a far greater comfort in the kingdom than we are here with just hearing the words of the Lord. But these words of comfort, which is these scriptures, what we feed off, what we are fed off of, give us that hope, give us that assurance, give us that comfort spiritually in our minds, you know? That's why <clears throat> we are not supposed to be you know, heavy hearted when it comes to certain things that we hear and or read or see. Okay. All right. Because we know this verse four is going to happen. Okay. We know that's our, that's our reassurance. All right. And just like in Daniel, the second chapter, Nebuchadnezzar was told by Daniel that the, that the dream and the interpretation was sure of what it is that Daniel through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai broke down unto Nebuchadnezzar. All right. <coughs> Um, yep, Dan uh, Daniel 2 and 44. So we know that Daniel, through the spirit power of Yahweh Shema Shai, told Nebuchadnezzar that uh, the, his, the, the, he gave Nebuchadnezzar a revelation of each kingdom and how it was all going to go down at the end, okay? All right? And I'm going to read it. And this is, uh, this is assurance for us, okay? This is comfort for us, okay? Because we Israelites and Yahweh Shai is an Israelite. And Yahweh is the Israelite, right? <clears throat> so, let's let's do this. Daniel 2 and 44. And in the days of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom. All right, and who's the power of heaven? Yahweh, man. Okay. Which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break, the, break in pieces and consume all these things, all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. All right? That's our assurance, man, okay? And we're in the last leg of the kingdoms that was in that <clears throat> um, statue that Daniel broke down into Nebuchadnezzar. All right, this is more assurance. For as much as thou sawest that that stone was cut out of the mountain with thy hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold, the great power of Yahweh, all right? hath made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter, right? And the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof is sure. So this is, we're living in a time of certainty, all right? Which, which is us getting, which is us going to be delivered out of here. And hearing these words and reading these words are, are, are comfortable, are comforting, because at the end of the day, we know that this is for us, this kingdom that Daniel prophesied, uh, about at the end is for us, man. Okay. 
that's comforting just like the name of the lord is a strong tower right and that's comforting all right All right, I'm going to read 61, Psalm 61, and Proverbs 18 and 10. All right. For thou hast been a shelter for me, a strong tower from thy enemy. I'm going to read it from the top. This is Psalm 61 and 1. Hear my cry, O power, attend to my prayer. For from the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. All right, and who's crying unto the Lord? The elect, man. Okay. Those ones that's tired of living here, the ones that hate their life, the ones that's the ones that, that wants to get out of here, man. The, the elect, okay? When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for a shelter for me and a strong tower for my enemy. Alright? I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covenant and the, I will trust in the covert of thy wings. Alright? Protection, man. Okay? Comfort. The Lord is a comforter. He's going to protect us, man. Okay? <clears throat> He's going to protect, okay? All right? Just like just like we know he is. Just like we know he has done. He brought us into this truth. He led us through everything that we went into throughout life and out of it and in it. All right? And brought us here into this truth. He's going to lead us through this truth, all right, all the way into the end. That's what I believe, you know? And we're going to be, or will those men, all right, that see the, the downfall of this place, man, because I want to see the downfall of this place, all right? The, uh, this is Proverbs 18 and 10. The name... Of the Lord, which is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. So we say Yahweh Bashim El Shai. All right, is a strong tower. The righteous run into and runs into it and is safe. All right, because we don't have any other safety coming from anywhere else. All right, nothing in Egypt, nothing in this world at all. Okay, but the word of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, which gives us comfort, which is our comforter. All right, <coughs> which which brings us gladness which brings us ease which brings us alleviation okay all right that that's what our comfort is the name of the lord man okay all right and we got it through the understanding of you how you how about shai and that understanding being brought from abba Bivens to elder apostle tahar gabar raka uh, ari Lab, all right and uh, uh, and the other elders of great millstone man they have taught me and, uh, and taught all you other brothers man okay and sisters, all right. <clears throat> Let me go into Sirach right quick. This is Sirach, uh, chapter 30, verse 21. Go, give not thy mind over to heaviness, and afflict not thyself and thine own counsel. But that's that, could, that goes back, and you could link that with uh, Proverbs 3 and 5. Lean not into our own understanding, all right? Because our understanding ain't got us nowhere. Look, 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 man. Our understanding got us into captivity, man. All right. So again, don't give don't give your mind over to things that that are out of your reach, out of your control. Okay? Because at the end of the day, we know who's in control. Yeah, how about Shemal Shai? I can get that in Matthew, twenty eighth chapter. Let me read this. This is Sirach thirty eight and twenty. Take no heaviness to heart. Drive it away and remember thy last end. Remember the last end. Drive it away by prayer. Drive it away by fasting. Drive it away by hope. Drive it away by talking to your talking to the brothers in your camp. All right? And, 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 and remember the last end, man. And what is the last end? All right? The destruction of America and you getting and, and you getting the chariot. All right? Getting on the chariot, getting the crown, man. All right? By your All right, let me grab uh, Matthew right quick. <laughs> All right, and uh, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, all right, the disciples, all power is given unto me in heaven and earth. All right, so who's in control, man? All right, <laughs> all right, all power is given unto me in heaven and earth, man. So Yahweh Shai is in control, all right, and more specifically, Yahweh Shai is saying that he's in control, all right, and he is because he came down here and fulfilled what the Heavenly Father wanted him to do. Just like, you know, we pray that the Lord is going to allow us to fulfill our lot for him to the very end man okay even if he has to die even if we have to die for the lord all right and uh uh part of heaviness is worrying about how you're gonna uh you know your end as far as 
how you gonna get through, you know, Jacob Jacob's trouble and how you gonna get through, you know, your day to day. All right, the Lord said, let me just grab it. I think it's in Matthew 6. Take no thought for your life, you know. All right, this is Matthew 6 and 25. This is the Lord speaking, man. All right. Uh, it says, Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor for your body, what you shall, what you shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment? All right. So don't take no thought for your life, man, because the Lord is in control. All right. We just read it, man. Our right, Lord will you was edifying. You were edifying. I want to give all praise and honor and glory unto Yahweh by Shema Al Shai by Shema I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. And I want to say Shalom to the whole full of Kwame Al Shirala and my wife Lava Bar Shalom.